What's up guys, it's Ben Cuerdy here, and that intro clip you just saw uh, was something I got the other day while going for Dark Matter. I don't really go for Dark Matter that often because I just rather snipe and can't be bothered to wreck gun, but I thought I'd hop into Hardcore because I got bored of sniping. And uh, I got that first game on in Hardcore Domination, which was pretty cool because I didn't expect it. Um, pretty cool with that last shot as well while jumping in the air. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to mention a few things in this commentary, um, a couple of issues that I've been having with uh, Black Ops 3 recently. Don't get me wrong, I really love the game, it's uh, a lot of fun, it's definitely one of my favorite CODs. I haven't had the urge to go back to Black Ops 2 or MW3 at all. Um, I still really enjoy playing it, but recently just um, a few annoying things have come up and I just want to mention them in a, co in a commentary because uh, I feel like I've got quite a few good examples on how Treya could really improve this game, make it way more fun and also make it last longer for a lot of people, but um, yeah, the first thing, um, a lot of people have talked about this, a lot of people are angry at Treyarch for this as well, um, you can probably guess it, it's the supply drop system. Um, it's just the way that they add so many new guns pretty frequently as well, I think within uh, one to two months we've had, I don't know how many, maybe like... Uh, six to eight new guns added, which is uh, pretty cool in my opinion. I mean, I like the idea that they add um, a whole lot of variety of different guns. Um, we've had an SMG, a lot of knives, a new sniper even now. The marshals as a secondary pistol are pretty cool. All this kind of stuff, which is um, pretty creative. It's obviously a lot of fun if you have the guns, but uh, then on the other hand, they make it so hard to even get these guns. They're barely accessible for like uh, the casual player. The only people that I know that have a lot of the new guns are just YouTubers that spend thousands of dollars to stream it or just to get the uh, guns in general and uh, they have a lot of them but if you just play casually and use the normal supply drops without cut points then you can barely get them. Um, only if you get pretty lucky but it doesn't happen too often. Yesterday I actually played for about three hours and I think I saw maybe five people in that whole time that had new guns or any guns that you can get some f uh, from supply drops. They also had older guns like the sword uh, or maybe like the wrench but I think I saw nobody with the uh, new sniper or the new mp40 yesterday and it's just sad because the game has so much potential with these new guns to just be a lot more fun for a lot of people. Um, maybe make a lot of people come back on onto the game as well that have already gone back to all the cards. Because if you have a new sniper, there's obviously um, a new challenge there. I know that sniper isn't the best, but um, it still makes for a bit of fun and they just make make them so barely accessible. I mean, I get Treyarch just wants to make easy money off, money off of this, but let's be honest, they don't need that. and. Um, on the other hand, if they make them more accessible, the game is way more fun, the game lasts longer for a lot of people, and that way uh, they just have a way better reputation and make more money in the end as well. So I don't really get that concept. Um, it's pretty stupid in my opinion how the game has so much potential to be more fun, but to the most of people it isn't. Uh, you don't have the ability. And um, I have a good example here as well of how they've done it in different games, uh, way better in my opinion. For example, Star Wars uh, Battlefront. I played that yesterday and I found out that they added new guns. They also add quite a few uh, new maps often and also for free, like not just for people who have the season pass or who buy the DLC. You can try out new maps, uh, new guns, even if you don't buy any of these extra things and it just makes you come back on the game. I hadn't played Battlefront for quite a while and I just hopped on to try out the new maps and uh, multiplayer and single player, I mean that's how the, how the game works, how it makes you come back on it and you don't even have to buy it. Um, the new guns, they added four I think, and in single player you can use them all, which is pretty cool. And then in multiplayer, if you want to get them, you can do challenges. By um, doing a couple of challenges you can unlock two of the new guns and I think the other two you have to buy the season pass for it, which is okay in my opinion. And I actually want to play Star Wars Battlefront again just to try out these new guns in multiplayer and the new maps of course so I mean that worked for the game it's staying alive and that's what Black Ops 3 should do as well in my opinion um, I'm not even like uh, crying here or wanting sympathy for not having any of the new guns 
I just think that Treya could do a lot to make this game a lot more fun. Um, I myself have got the wrench, that's the only weapon from supply drops I've ever got, and I got that I think about two days maybe after the first guns got released. And since then I haven't had anything, I've got 250 hours on Steam playtime, and that's the only thing I've got. I got two cool camos for the SVG, SVG but that's pretty much everything I've ever got from, from supply drops. I know Dwork probably has a lot more hours than me, uh, and he hasn't got shit, not even like sniper camos. Uh, he did those huge supply drop openings with like 2000 uh, crypto keys and didn't get shit. And yeah, that's also another another thing they could do, in my opinion, is the crypto key range for the rare supply drops. They ju could just turn it down. I mean, I played for about three hours yesterday, and in those in that time, I got about 40 crypto keys, which makes for one rare supply drop. I mean, that's stupid. You play so long, and you get one supply drop, and then in the end, it's just like a taunt and two comets in it. In my opinion, they should go uh, make it down to about 10 or maybe 15 crypto keys for rare and turn the common supply drops down because then uh, you could open them more often and a lot more people could also be part of the new guns. But uh, yeah, that's the one issue. I think that's pretty much all I had in mind uh, to add to that topic. Um, but also a few other things have annoyed me recently. Because of all these new updates, that they've added to Black Ops 3, I've got I've got to constantly turn down the uh, graphics settings. Like, I'm pretty sure that's it because at the beginning, I had the render resolution or that render option. I'm not sure what it's called right now, but I had that at 90% or 80%, and now it's gone down to 60% for the game to run smooth while recording. And I'm pretty sure that's because of all the updates they've added because it should, the file just gets bigger and bigger. It's pretty annoying. And um, next to that, it doesn't even look that good, this game. If you compare it, once again, to Star Wars Battlefront, I can run that game at almost highest settings. It looks beautiful. I just play a bit of footage from that game here now uh, for you guys to see comparison. That game runs smooth. I've never had problems with it. And uh, next to that, you have Black Ops 3. The optimization is so bad. <laughs> like You have to play it at medium settings. It looks like crap. <laughs> and you barely get your 60 fps which is pretty stupid in my opinion they could really improve that and also i've had a problem recently which spread he's also mentioned a couple of times um when scoping down with uh, normal sniper scopes i just get frame rate drop like usually it's all smooth about 60 to 80 fps and then when i use the svg for example with the normal scope or the uh, locus regular scope scope in and it just goes down to like 20 fps and you can't aim for shit with that it's just impossible so it's not too bad because i prefer using thermal sights and stuff anyway i think the uh, range of black ops 3 sights is pretty wide and um, it's all quite a lot of fun to use but it's pretty annoying because you can't use the regular scopes anymore i don't know why that is it's just randomly appeared for me it's never been like that at the start but uh, in my opinion they should really fix that i mean if it's even on console then that's pretty stupid and um, yeah that's one thing also ground war is empty now on pc i haven't found a game in ages like i found one a couple of days ago but that ended just after the match everyone left and the ground war playlist is just empty now on, on pc which is pretty sad because for me that game mode was the most fun like you have 9v9 all the time it's way more fast paced you can get way more kills uh, your kill streaks can get more kills if you get them. It's just overall way more fun in my opinion. Like it's not even because of safeguard because you can hit clips easier. It's just generally domination as well is so much more fun to play than 6v6 dom. Uh, if you play hunter in 6v6 dom it can be so slow paced. And I feel like if they had swapped safeguard with uh, kill confirmed in the ground war playlist it might have been still full now. I think a lot of people just uh, left that playlist or never went to it because of safeguard and that's pretty stupid because from the start on people have said that game mode isn't the best and Treyarch hasn't done shit about it. I think they could have changed that for PC so uh, that playlist would still be full but whatever. Um, people don't play about care about PC too much. Now I have to play 6v6 
a TDM 66 DOM, which is still fun, but it's just way too slow paced most of the time, in my opinion. Ground was a lot more fun, but um, yeah, there's just a few things I wanted to mention. It's a pretty long video now, I just noticed, but I um, hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. I just wanted to give you that comparison with uh, Star Wars Battlefront, because in my opinion they've done a gr crazy good job with their DLC that they've added. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. You're gonna see you in the next one with that sexy German accent. Bye.